guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. We have reached 50,000 subscribers, so thank you all so much for the amazing support the past year. Let's level it up to our next goal of 100,000 subscribers. So keep on supporting our videos by giving them a like, writing a comment, and of course sharing the videos with all your friends, colleagues, family, and anyone you can think of. Now today, we're going to create a super dope punch transition, so let me show you how to do it. Now of course, we used our fist for the punch, but you can actually make this effect with any object or limp that you want. Let's start things off by starting up Premiere Pro and dropping our shots in the timeline. We need two shots. One where we punch to the camera, and the second one to transition to. Now duplicate the first clip by holding Alt while dragging. Then cut a small portion of it. Offset that clip a couple of frames. Now you can do this by holding Alt while pressing the right arrow key. Then we're going to make a mask around the fist. It doesn't have to be extremely accurate. And if your hand is coming on screen, then make sure you place two mask points a bit lower to create a little bit of a streak. Now feather it a bunch and set the blend mode to linear dodge. Then animate the mask so that it follows the hand. And this can be done manually or you can use a mask tracker which are these buttons next to the mask path. Now go to the effects panel and drag the Lumetri color effect onto your clip. And change the colors, lighting and contrast to whatever you want it to look like. Now I'm going for kind of a blue look. I'll put my settings on screen here so that you can create the exact same look if you want to. Next we're going a bit further in time and repeat the same steps. But I'm now going to animate the scale so that it looks like my fist is actually charging. So go to the beginning, create a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch icon, go to the end of the small clip and scale it up. You're probably going to need to adjust the anchor point so that it scales from the middle of the fist and not the middle of the screen. I'm also going to place a cross dissolve on the beginning and the ending of this clip. Guys, have you actually seen our 5 day deal giveaway yet? It's ongoing right now, so if you want a chance to win over $10,000 of film gear, check the first link in the description down below. I'm also excited to tell you that the actual 5-day deal video bundle is dropping tomorrow, from June 3rd until the 9th. Now I can't tell you a lot about it yet, but we've collaborated with tons of amazing filmmakers like Parker Wahlbeck from Full Time Filmmaker, Shane Hurlbot, the guys from Film Riot, Ignis Alea from Creative Galaxy, Andy AX, and so many more. And if you have seen the past 5 day deals, then you know this bundle is something you can't miss out on. Last year, Film Riot provided an entire movie making bundle for example. And well, this year, it's even cooler. What I can tell you however, is what we here at Cinecom added to the 5 day deal bundle. And that's our brand new Ignite pack. A pack filled with high quality explosions that you can easily composite in Adobe After Effects. They already have a transparent background and they are shot from 18 different perspectives which allow you to rotate the explosions to your likings. How awesome is that? Now if you're watching past June 3rd, then visit the first link down below to check out this amazing deal. After the 8th of June, it's gone forever so don't hesitate and click on that link right now. For real though, do it right now. Click it. Click, 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 click. Okay, now let's continue with the final effect, which is the transition itself. Once again, we're going to make a duplicate and take a piece out of it. Then we're going to make a mask again. Now, if needed, adjust it manually so that the mask gradually enlarge to full screen. Feather it a bunch, and if needed, change the mask expansion. Then take your second clip and drag it onto the second track and place it a bit above the first clip. Now we're going to create the actual transition now. Copy and paste the mask from the duplicate onto the new clip. And since we've tracked it, it will still follow the same movement from the fist, because we still have all the keyframes. Then animate the Lumetri color properties that you've changed. In my case, it's the temperature, tint, and the exposure. And then we're going to the effects panel and look for the lens distortion effect. Drag it onto that clip and animate the curvature from around minus 60 to zero. As a final extra touch, we can make it bounce a bit by making a small animation with the scale property. And that will give you this result. Now 
Now if you want to spice it up even more you can always play around with different colors or looks or add extra elements like fire or electric elements. Now I think it's a fun transition to use in both music videos and travel videos. Anyway, if you have some cool suggestions for future tutorials, write it down in the comments. Make sure to enter the giveaway and check out the amazing stuff you'll get from the video creator bundle by clicking the link in the description below. I'll see you guys next week and as always, stay creative.